Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to The Young and the Restless spoilers, Summer Newman now has a clean path to Chance Chancellor after Sharon Newman ended her relationship with him. Sharon did not want to deny Chance the opportunity to find someone with whom he could form a genuine connection. Sharon didn't see a future with Chance, so she left him free to find the right woman and build a future with someone else. Summer is very interested in getting closer to Chance, so he may finally conclude she is the right woman. Of course, if Y and R wishes to commit to Summer and Chance has a relationship in the future, there's a definite method to do so. Perhaps a fresh tiny Newman Chancellor could enter the picture. Chance and Summer's love affair is still in its early stages, so they must go through all of the essential milestones, such as sharing their first kiss and eventually hitting the covers together for the first time. Summer's pregnancy tale will begin as she and Chance's connection becomes more personal. It would be an excellent approach to move things along for this couple and compel them to decide whether they're all in. Chance and Summer may be able to make a more serious commitment to one other sooner if she becomes pregnant. When Chance planned to conceive a kid with Abby Newman Abbott, he discovered he had a poor sperm count and motility. However, Chance's doctor informed him that the problem could resolve itself at some point. The trouble was that Abby did not want to wait to find out. Rather than postponing their family plans, Chance and Abby decided to employ a sperm donor. The point is, Chance's sperm and motility issues could be resolved. It wasn't necessarily permanent, so there's no need to be concerned. Summer has stepped up as Harrison Abbott's mother but she doesn't get to spend as much time with him now that she's separated from Kyle Abbott. Furthermore, Tara Locke may escape prison and battle for custody. Tara may not be satisfied to let Summer play mommy to Harrison indefinitely. Perhaps this is Summer's chance to have her own child, one that no one will want to claim after her time in prison. Chance has never felt as close to Dominic Newman Abbott Winters Chancellor as he should. Chance missed the early phases of Dominic's existence in Spain and was unable to bond with him like Devin Hamilton Winters, Dominic's biological father. Although Chance will always be around for Dominic, it is evident that he is not the child's primary father figure. Will Summer become pregnant in the coming months, giving Chance another chance to bond with a baby from the beginning? Time will tell, but having a child together might be a fascinating journey for Chance and Summer. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Summer and Chance will figure things out as they get to know each other better, so keep an eye out for any baby news that could shake things up. Nikki gets some grim news, Heather keeps a secret from Daniel, and Phyllis pushes Christine's buttons. Summer notices Chance at Crimson Lights and can tell he is troubled. She invites him to dinner, and they go to society. She pledges to cheer him up and they discuss her divorce and their own views about breakups. Chance reassures her that, while he was disappointed when Sharon ended their relationship, he is not heartbroken. He and Summer have a good time talking and joking during supper until he needs to go home. They both agree how much fun they had, and Chance suggests they do it again soon. Daniel and Danny are talking, while Danny is receiving text messages on his phone. He reads them and grins, and Daniel believes they are from Christine, claiming that only she can make his father smile like that. Daniel has no notion that the texts are genuinely from Phyllis. Danny switches the subject and disregards the texts. Lily comes out and tells Daniel she wants grilled cheese, but she wants Heather to cook it, so she is on her way. Danny and Daniel converse about Heather, and Daniel tells his father that Lily enjoys having both of her parents nearby. He inquires about Daniel's feelings for Heather, to which Daniel responds that they are only co-parents, despite Lily's desire for more. He tells his father that when he was younger, he didn't want his parents to be together. Heather comes, and Danny leaves to meet with Phyllis, but gives a vague excuse, so Daniel has no idea where he is going. She cooks sandwiches, and Lily goes to bed. She's about to tidy up before leaving, but Daniel says he'll do it. 
He comments Lily enjoying their time together, and Heather agrees, adding that she is falling through paperwork at Crimson Lights when Nikki enters and apologizes for last night. When asked if she has been drinking, Nikki vows to her that she has not. They discuss addiction, and Lauren explains that she understands what Nikki and her family are going through because she went through it with Finn. She begs Nikki to let her family help her and to call her if she needs her. Nikki commits to fight for her sobriety. Nikki welcomes Seth in and thanks him for last night before apologizing for what happened when Victor entered. He understands, and Nikki explains that she went to a morning meeting and was startled to not see him there. Seth yawns and informs her that he is feeling under the weather but will be attending a meeting shortly. After he leaves, Nikki asks Lauren if she thought Seth was acting strangely. When Danny ignores her text messages, Phyllis assumes he is with Christine and decides she needs to step it up to catch his attention. She texts him and asks him to meet her in the jazz room to speak, and he accepts. Phyllis gets ready to leave, putting a jacket over her underwear before heading to meet Danny. When he arrives at the jazz room, Phyllis convinces him to perform the song she inspired, and she records him doing it on her phone. Later, he returns to the table and they talk. Danny queries her about Tucker, and she tells him that there is no future for them and that he does not inspire her the way Danny does. She loosens her jacket so he can see her underwear beneath it and tells him about the passion she believes they may enjoy again. Danny's phone rings, interrupting the moment, and Phyllis asks him to ignore it. Danny checks his phone and is furious to learn that Phyllis tweeted the recording she recorded with a caption implying that they are romantically involved. Phyllis attempts to appear innocent, but Danny doesn't buy it. Christine views the video and becomes obviously distressed. Phyllis informs Danny that Christine informed her about the trip they are planning and that she was shoving it in her face because she feels threatened by her. Danny asks Phyllis whether she informed Christine about kissing him, and she reminds him that he kissed her back but that she didn't tell Christine. Phyllis wonders why he didn't tell Christine himself, and Danny explains it would only have damaged her. Phyllis believes he did not say anything because it meant something to him. They dispute, and Phyllis attempts to make her case for their reunion, but Danny tells her she hasn't changed before storming off to the bar for a drink. Phyllis follows him and gives him a kiss. Danny wraps his arms around her and passionately kisses her back, just as Christine enters and notices them. My and our spoilers on January 17, 2024, Christine loses patience, and more on my and our. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like. And subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.